All right, I am here with Joel and Megan McCafferty from McCafferty Ranch. And Megan Lindero. McCafferty. <laughs> and uh, you were just telling me you guys have been here since 1926? Yep. Yeah, my granddad came here in 1926. Purchased some cattle and got the brand, and that's when he got started here. So, so what brought me out to the ranch was I had seen uh, through uh, Drew, who's going to open Central Avenue Meats, um, post about uh, grass-fed beef. And so that's what we can, kind of came out to look at. And so I don't know if you could share kind of your short journey of, of how did you come up with this crazy idea? Well, it started off that a friend of mine had a, uh, a really small hydroponic plant. And uh, he was just using it to supplement cattle with. And then when I saw his uh, operation, um, it clicked with kind of a lifelong dream of providing good product without having to go to the feedlot in uh, the Midwest and do the whole business right off your ranch. And so that's where that came from. So then with this friend, uh, Brandon Rickard is his name, we talked with him quite a bit and he had a lot of ideas about building a building and doing it all in a big building. And so we all sat down and a few friends and designed this building and started working on it. And then we built it and had a lot of problems, and we've been trying to solve problems ever since. Touch it, feel it, pick it up. And that's where all the nutrients are, is down in this roof. And that's what, like, the sprouts. That's crazy. So that's kind of what you were saying, like, it's, it's almost better than eating grass. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because they're not, they don't get that much out of this. Yeah, all the power is down in the roots. Well, at this point in the plant cycle, like, the seed is still underground. <laughs> And so all the nutrients are still just in the seed and the root. So that's all the nutrients are here. And it just sprouts green quicker. And so once we saw the hydroponic plant, we decided that uh, that was a way we were going to investigate to see if we could get good, healthy, nutritious beef year round and consistent to the consumer at a, a good price. And we think that we've done it. We think in Montana that we raise the best cattle in the world is what us Montana companies think. And uh, there's a lot of facts behind that, but a lot of it is longitude and latitude and the type of cattle we can raise here. But there's been a lot of attention to genetics. And then we normally sell that beef, it goes to the Midwest, and then they take our beef and then it goes to expensive restaurants and it goes to Europe and Japan and, and all these fancy places. And then they import beef from Mexico or places or Argentina. less than Argentina <laughs> and then a lot of things happen in the food system and it goes through when it's stamped USDA when it's not US beef producers that are producing it and then it ends up in our grocery stores and then unsuspecting people come in and they can buy cheap food mm -hmm. in America but uh, some of it isn't the best so and we in Montana we feel like our beef is you know really good and then it gets shipped out and it's going to other places. Yeah. And we would like to keep some of our high quality food local. Well, we're, like you mentioned, Drew earlier at Central Avenue Meats, and we really want uh, everybody to shop at his store. Um, we think he's going to be dry aging beef. And uh, so it'll be grass fat cattle that is dry aged, which uh, we know you can't find anywhere else, probably in Montana and very few, yeah. you know, anywhere. Because you can't get a fat cow a big enough fat cap on grass-fed finished beef in order to be able to dry age. So, ours do have a big enough fat cap on him oh, that yeah. he's able to do it. So this might be some of the only dry aged beef that's grass-fed in the United States. I think so. Drew knows more about that end of it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but I, I'd certainly say in Montana, um, and there's not very many in the United States. Anyway. Like I called a lot of butchers at the beginning of this. Like I just just was dry calling a lot of places and just seeing if they'd be interested. And most butchers were like, "No way, I will never serve grass-fed finished beef." Um, and they're like, "Well, just let me send you a sample. You know, just let me let me show you." And you know, most people when they saw it, they're like, "Oh, that's not 
from what I was expecting to see. So was, yeah, you most of these beef people, all they do is they all they have to do is look at your steak. Yeah, and and then they go, okay, I know what we got. And so once they started looking at our actual steaks, just the pictures, and they're like, hmm, I'm interested. And then we started in taste tests. Uh, we've won every taste test we've been in, and uh, so that's kind of how it grew. And so yeah, we, but our business model, we'd love to sell locally to the Montana people. Yeah, we sell quarter halves and holes right now. And so you have on your website? Yeah, on our website. Uh... Yeah, I'd like it to be profitable. <laughs> <laughs> um, because it's been more um, more just... Uh, an experiment. Ex an experiment. And, uh, yeah, an exactly. expensive experiment. <laughs> and with a lot of work, but we're kind of weird. Yeah. And it probably financially hasn't been sense you know to do it um, but I honestly think that there's something there mm -hmm. because there is in the product and there is in the health benefits and there is uh, you know we have a lot of customers wanting it so we hope that financially that uh, yeah we'd be able to you know have the kids stay home work off the ranch instead of having to go off farm income this is the third year uh, that the clients been the clients yeah we just have been looking at it. The idea came some years ago. So yeah. drawing and dreaming and mm -hmm. should we do it, should we not? Oh goodness, this is stupid. <laughs> and uh, finally, about three years ago, I had a family meeting and we just all kind of voted on it and said, ah, well, let's do it. Yeah, well, you had me sold. So. <laughs>